can we be fat and still constantly hungry, food obsessed, maybe not even satisfied? Like we're eating and it's really hard to get satisfied because binge eating is becoming an increasing problem. The more that we diet, the more that we restrict. For many people, that means when they go off their diet, they have this just storm of a binge eating. And those have a lot to do with how the brain is interpreting your current behavior and your status. But let's look at the hormones, which is really what's behind most of this problem. And we have two that are really influencing our hunger and our weight, or whether we're in fat storage, fat accumulation, or fat burning mode. And that's going to be insulin and leptin. They don't do the same things, but they do influence each other through their effect on the brain. So we talked about before that insulin sort of makes the decisions about what to do after you eat food and those nutrients, the sugar and the fat, are floating around in your bloodstream. These are fuel and insulin is going to decide how that fuel is going to be used. So think of it as like a lot of dollar bills floating down from the sky. Now you might like to run out and gather them all up, but insulin's like the cop saying, now it's your turn to run out, now it's your turn to run out, now it's your turn to run out. And uh, insulin can be a bit of a snake because he might decide that the, the, the fat cells, the fat cats, the rich oily oil companies of cells, that they actually end up getting most of all the new cash that comes in, even though they already have more than they know what to do with, so they're stuffing it in. So why is insulin not letting it go into the cells? Well, what has happened is insulin hung around for so long because of this insulin resistance that, that occurs because we're eating a lot of carbohydrates, which means carbohydrates means more dollars at the same time, so it takes longer to clean them up, or we're eating too often, which means it's raining every 15 minutes or an hour, and then there's cash to be dealt with. And every time there's raining of the money, then insulin has to come out and decide where it's to go. Well, what has this got to do with leptin and you're becoming fat? Well, a number of the cells of your body, the hard workers, they're going to need some of that cash inflow or they shut down. So your brain needs this, your liver needs this, your kidneys, you know, all these cells in your body, they're constantly working. You need to move, you need to breathe, and they need energy. They need a cash flow all the time. So if insulin makes a decision to let the fat cat scoop up all the money, then the needy other cells still need, they still need an influx of cash. Insulin's not going to listen to them. So they're sort of stuck inside their brain, but it's stuck inside their cell membrane, uh, these organelles that need uh, the little factory that goes on inside the cell. So how do they get more nutrients? How do they make sure that, they're, that they get their voice heard that we don't have enough energy to run on? The fat took it all. Well, the brain doesn't really care that the fat took it all. The, what the brain, the, it, so the brain is going to respond to this by uh, increasing that there, it's going to make it rain again, basically. So you have to go out and go eat. And when it rains, then it pours. That's the other thing that it will do. So it will cause you to crave certain kinds of foods. It will cause you to overeat. It will really tempt you to eat a lot of the time. And when you're not eating, you'll be thinking about eating because that's what your brain's intervention is to make sure that the, we can increase this cash flow. doesn't really care how much extra money is uh, going off to the fat cells. That really doesn't affect the brain at this time. We're going to talk about that. That's part of the leptin report. So it does end up being important. But the first thing that we need to understand is that inside those cells that need energy, they're signaling to the brain. Uh, we communicate in our body basically the same way that um, we communicate as people. Just think of your in the nation, you know, maybe you're in the United States, which is a nation made up of states and cities and a lot of people. And in your body, you have organs like states and cities, but you also have all these trillions of cells that are people. And how do they talk to each other or communicate to the big cities or where information needs to go? Well, they do it just like we do, face to face. So there's a cell to cell interactions 
wired like a traditional landline of a telephone. So your nerve cells, you know, you see something and it goes like an electrical cord and it goes to your brain and says, I saw food, 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 food. And that's one of the ways that we can talk. But inside of our cells, they're always, you know, basically using cell phones. Maybe that's why they came up with that cell phone idea. So when the cell needs more energy, it texts messages the brain. Basically it says, help, give us more food right now. And the brain says, uh, I'm busy. And it like gives out an SOS and starts bombarding the brain and everyone calls in at once. And then the brain says, okay, let's just go eat, 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 and shut those cells all up. But again, as long as you're eating and doing that, insulin's out and it is giving an, 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 uh, a very unfair distribution of the currency that's drifting down to be available to the cells. So when these fat, overstuffed, bloated uh, fat cells that are full of fat, they basically start lying about how much fat that they have. So just like big, fat, bloated corporations, they falsify their bank statements and their documents and they plead poverty even though they have lots and lots and lots of cash. Lots and lots and lots of fuel, lots and lots and lots of fat that could be used by the other cells, but they're not letting go of it because they want it all for themselves. And that's one of the ways that the leptin report is wrong. Now, what leptin is, is leptin is supposed to be released in proportion to the amount of fat that you have. So all the cells say, here, here, I'm here. And you count all the billions of them and they say, I have a big fat globule. And then the brain knows how many fat globules are left there. That's the accurate leptin report. So when you have lots and lots of fat, you are going to have lots and lots of leptin. Well, here we run into the same problem we did with insulin. When you have lots and lots of leptin, it's always bugging the brain with the leptin report. Like, lots of leptin, lots of leptin. And the brain just gets tired of hearing this. So it's like, just shut up. So it's actually just stops listening to the leptin report because it's so loud and annoying all the time. And this is a state of leptin resistance. And when we have that problem, then the brain is like, I don't want to listen to leptin. Uh, the cells say they need energy. So it basically is, there is a leptin report, but it's being ignored. And this is when people get into problems by eating all the time because their nutritionist or their trainer says, it's really important to have a little something to eat because you don't want to go into starvation mode. The problem with leptin is it's perceived starvation mode. So you're reinforcing that. So you're not really in starvation mode. You really are food preoccupied. You really are behaving like you're starving, but you're in fact not starving. And the problem with that isn't that you're in starvation mode because you didn't eat. The problem with that is you're in a state of leptin resistance because your fat cells have been getting fatter for a while and you want to reverse that overnight. And leptin is like those big bloated corporations. They're very difficult to budge. You can't make them dissolve overnight. They have to go through all the courts and then the Supreme Court, it takes forever. Then they pop up somewhere else. So it just can't be dealt with that quickly. It can be dealt with, but it can't be dealt with overnight. So we need to start following the laws of leptin. And when you follow the laws of leptin, then you start to get the report more accurate. Another big problem with the leptin report, a reason it can be falsified is, now remember each of the fat cells is basically saying, here I am, and the more fat cells that speak, the more that the leptin, the fat estat, that's what the leptin report is, it's going up and going, we have lots and lots of fat. Okay, and that's good, so you don't need to go around and search for more then. Well, one of the circumstances when the leptin report would be falsified, you know, remember I said that it could be, the fat could be lying or hiding or deceiving. And we know that some of these things happen with leptin resistance. But another problem that happens is when you actually get all, uh, your fat cells get all filled with fat and too many of them, it's like tenement conditions in there. They're very overcrowded, toxins don't get out, they start irritating and annoying each other. And that is a situation in the body that we call inflammation. And inflammation basically like flame, flammation means on fire. So you have fat that's on fire. And when your fat is on fire, it's very upset. It, it weeps these chemicals called cytokines, which you know communicate to the world, oh my God, I'm so, 
in so much pain, deal with my inflammation. But at the same time, while it's weeping cytokines, it doesn't, it just forgets to send out its leptin signal. So it says, help me, help me, but it doesn't say I'm fat here. It says I'm fat and I hate myself and nothing's getting done. So the brain thinks there's no fat, even though there's plenty of fat because leptin's too busy whining about the state of inflammation to report to the brain that there's actually lots of fat to be available to be used as fuel. So now we have a leptin report, but it says there isn't much fat and the brain looks at it and goes, geez, when did that happen? We must have like had some crisis I didn't know about. All the fat stores got burned off. Off we go, go make some more fat.